Hello, James. Or should I say, hello, Blanket. What are you doing, James? I'm hiding, Grandad. I can see that, James, but who are you hiding from? Have you upset your dad again? No, Grandad. I'm hiding from COVID-19. Right. It's going to get me, Grandad. I know that it is. And I'm so afraid. I don't want to get really ill and go to hospital and be put on a venti thing and then die and all oh, help, Grandad. I'm so scared. Oh, poor James. You really are frightened, aren't you? Yes, I am, Grandad. But hiding under a blanket isn't going to help you, James. Won't it protect me, Grandad? No, it won't, James. So why don't you take off the blanket and we can have a little chat together. If you're sure that my blanket isn't protecting me from nasty COVID, Grandad. I'm sure. Oh, hello, Grandad. I can see your face now. It's good to see your face too, James. Now then, why don't you tell me where all these anxious thoughts have come from? I saw it all on the television last night, Grandad. The news reporter said that lots of people are going to hospital and some people are dying. And the more that he talked, the more frightened I got. I understand that totally, James. COVID-19 is a serious situation, but we don't need to get in a total panic about it. Many people have been ill, but they've also got better again. Have they, Grandad? Yes, they have, James. Oh! And if we are sensible about washing our hands and keeping our distance from people, then we will probably be okay too. Do you really think so, Grandad? Yes, I do, James. But even if we did get ill, we can have hope as followers of Jesus. How, Grandad? Jesus promised his followers, and he promises us that he is always with us. He will never leave us, whatever is going on in our lives, even if we caught COVID-19. That makes me feel a lot better, Grandad. I want Jesus to be close to me, especially if I got ill. Well, he is, James. It is like he is holding your hand. Whenever I feel afraid walking in the dark to my violin lesson, Dad holds my hand. When he does that, I feel safe again. Although you can't see Jesus, he is walking right beside you. So, just imagine that he is holding your hand like your dad does. I'll try and do that, Grandad. But I wish that I could see Jesus, because when I'm really scared, it seems like he is a long way away, and my hand doesn't stretch that far. I know, James. Jesus seems like he is far away, although he isn't really. It feels that way because your fear is very big and right in front of you. My fear of COVID-19 is ginormous, Grandad. So, why don't you tell Jesus about it? Jesus wants you to be honest with him about the things that make you scared. Really, Grandad? Really, James, when you have told Jesus how scared you are, Jesus wants to wrap you around his peace. Like a warm blanket? Yes, like a warm blanket around your heart. Can I pray now, Grandad? Of course you can, James. Jesus is right here with us. Jesus, I'm scared of COVID-19. Grandad has told me that 
you will never leave me. And I believe Grandad because he always tells me the truth. Help me to know inside of me that you, my great big God, are with me. Help me to put my hand in yours now. And Jesus, please would you wrap my heart up in the warm blanket of your peace. Amen. Amen. Thanks, Grandad. I do feel a bit better now. Hey, I better go. I think that my toasted marshmallows should be ready. They've been sitting on the electric rings of the cooker for the last half an hour. Oh, James. <laughs>